Durant wants to clear some space. Five seconds. Durant. Good night! A three! Five seconds. Durant. Good night! What's going on guys? J Law B Ball here. We have our Pro Mix Pro breakdown of the day, and it is going to be a Kevin Durant touch step back out of a speed stop. And this is something that we teach, taught for countless years of getting into space and then being able to create additional space getting into your shot. And now that KD's back in action, we get to see this time in and time out. He's one of the most prolific scorers, and this move right here is probably one of the best ways to create additional space to get your shot off. Before we get started, I'm getting uh, my protein shake. Uh, I do this every single day, and I want you guys to understand, I have been in the best shape of my life. And post brain surgery, this is one of the main reasons as to why I feel that way. I have my protein uh, isolate, my whey protein isolate. We have our intro workout mix. I have uh, the pre-workout, like we have everything here. ProMix does an amazing job. So what I do is I just make my protein shake really quick. Two scoops of this, a banana, and some milk. And that's the way, baby. Let's get to work. One thing that makes KD so special is his length. And when he gets into speed stop or gets into space downhill, you have to respect his ability to drive. So for KD, he gets into a speed stop. Speed stop is just an inside foot, outside foot. Stop of our frame, hits our body to stop the quickest we can. And when he hits that, he goes behind the back. And then once he realizes that he's into space, he's got a three point shot just a couple feet behind him. Uh, this is an, a bad shot in today's standards. So what he did is in order to create a little bit more space to get his three off, he pushes off that lead foot and reaches for space to get behind three, create additional space and get a shot off. So that's what we're gonna learn today, his speed stop, touch step back. So the first portion of his KD speed stop in this Pro Mix Pro Breakdown, we want to get into a strong control stop. So no additional movement, no wasted or extra actions. We just want to stop our body, one, two, to get into controlled space. So creating stop separation is something that's huge for us to learn and practice. So what I want you guys to do for this drill, practicing our speed stop, is starting at an angle off to the side. So I'm going left in this first action. I'm taking one hard dribble into space. And when I go behind the back, I want both feet to come into a complete stop. From that stop position, I just want to gather to get into shot. So in order for us to control our footwork, get comfortable with our footwork, I want us to get into our speed stop and then replace both feet when we find ball and get into our pull-up. Okay, make five going each way before we advance to the next drill. Let's take a peek at what it looks like. All right guys, now for the second drill, we're gonna to continue to do that speed stop, but instead of that foot replacement, now we're gonna incorporate the touch step back. So this is what KD does to create additional space. So you're gonna notice after that speed stop, instead of coming back and replacing both feet, we still wanna encourage you guys to lift frame a little bit so we get that foot off the ground. And now from this position, we're gonna take that lead foot, replace it a little bit more underneath our shoulder blade, so that way we can push and reach for additional space. So what you're gonna notice is you're gonna probably be better in one way more than the other. So for me as a lefty, I'm way more comfortable stepping back to my right because it allows me to lock my shooting elbow and shoulder to the basket. I don't have to square in air. It's a lot smoother of a shot. When I go left, instead of me going back to space, since I'm already shooting with my outside arm, I'm gonna go a little bit flatter. This still gives me the opportunity to create separation and it allows me to square up a little bit easier to target. I want you guys to practice both ways and make sure you're aware that each way might be different for feel and result. Yes, 
And now for the third component of the drill, fuse those two together and work on actually doing this move at full speed. Make sure we have that intent to attack. So start a few feet back behind three point line, sprint downhill, work on that speed stop to control space as fast as you possibly can, and then incorporate that touch step back to get behind your three point line. If you're in high school, practice getting inside the three point line, then step it back to high school line, college, same thing, NBA, get a little bit further. You can already extend your range, go for the NBA. Let's get it, baby. There you guys have it. There's our Pro Mix Pro breakdown on Kevin Durant's Speed Stop Touch Step Back. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our breakdowns. Make sure you drop a comment on who you want to see next in our Pro Mix Pro breakdown and give that thing a like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.